Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, good evening. I just want to quickly um, uh, make a reaction to what uh, Tabu Kawana um, has uh, just uh, uh, said in relation to President Edgar Lungu's immunity. Uh, this evening uh, and part of the afternoon, there has been some agitations that uh, they want to arrest uh, President uh, Edgar Chagolungu. To start with, I don't see anything wrong that Edgar Chagolungu said that warrants his arrest. I think he, arresting him will be very wrong, will be, uh, you know, trampling on um, his uh, fundamental rights to express himself. Uh, I don't think he said anything that warrants an arrest. But over and above that, President Edgar Chagolungu uh, has got immunity. Which immunity stays with him even after he leaves office this is my strong view and this view emanates from the constitution i took time uh, some time back because i heard the justice minister mlambo aimbe state council uh, when it was on radio i think it was on 5 fm and he was articulating to say uh, the president uh, as immunity uh, ends as he leaves office if he commits a crime uh, after he leaves office uh, he can be arrested and be and be prosecuted i kindly ask uh, the justice minister to court the constitution because it's not just a matter of uh, expressing your opinion you know especially as a state council himself as a state council uh, he should be able to uh, point us to the article that actually says when the president leaves office he can be prosecuted for uh, uh, cases or criminal cases that may come according to the constitution at least from my reading I'm not a lawyer, but from my reading, I haven't seen where it says that as soon as the president leaves office, his immunity uh, ceases and he can be arrested for any criminal offense that uh, he may commit after a uh, presidency. According to the, to the article that I'm quoting, I want to read it. I will read it very clearly. It is very instructive very instructive uh, this is article 98 4 very instructive i think let me let me point uh let me point the whatever there so that you can read with me you can read with me you see this is the article that i'm talking about here this is the article that i'm talking here you see article at con uh, at con 98 4 subject to clause 9 subject to clause 9 the president or a person performing executive function as provided in the article uh, 109 is immune from criminal proceedings which immunity continues after that person ceases to hold or perform the functions of that office you follow that it is very clear subject to close nine i'll go to close nine uh, the president or a person performing executive functions as provided 
in Article 109 is immune from criminal proceedings is immune from criminal proceedings which immunity continues after that person ceases to hold or perform the functions of the office now we can go to close um, uh, subject to close close nine let's go to close nine so that what is close nine talking about what is close nine talking about here is close nine here is close nine and close nine says where immunity is removed in accordance with clause eight what is clause eight saying where the select committee constituted by clause six recorded the removal of immunity from criminal proceedings from the person who holds the office of president who performed executive function the national assembly may remove immunity in respect of the alleged offense by the resolution supported by a vote of not less than two-thirds of the members of parliament so only if parliament removes the immunity so where the immunity is removed in accordance with clause 8 the person who holds the office of the president or who performed who performed functions uh, who performed the executive function shall be charged with an offense for which the immunity uh, from criminal proceedings was uh, uh, removed so it is very clear one it is very clear when we are talking about the constitution it is not about the opinion it's not about what you feel you need to go to the constitution so in actually can i am just challenging all those who are saying no when he leaves office when he leaves office then the immunity ceases i haven't seen that in our constitution so for those of you who are saying when he leaves office his immunity uh, ceases I want you to give me the clause I want you to give me the clause that says that backs up your position I want uh, uh, Honorable Justice Minister Mlambo Aimbe State Council to give me that that uh, uh, article which says when if when the former president ceases to be whatever he can be charged for whatever whatever i want to see that question because as far as this constitution is concerned it says he's immune from criminal proceedings is immune from criminal proceedings uh, it talks it also actually talks about the civil whatever proceedings from civil proceedings you can actually sue let me just talk properly up so that much to understand i think it is very very clear like the question is very is very instructive it says it says if for example uh, a person um uh, a, a person has got a, a, a civil case okay a civil case when a person becomes president that person cannot be sued or cannot sue on a civil matter he cannot sue it is very instructive he cannot sue he cannot be sued but when he comes out of office as president then you can sue that person or he can sue and the issue of statute bar does not apply for the time that he he is a president if he's a president for 10 years and the statute bar is about five years this person can still sue even after 10 years because during that time when he's president the time is locked so it is very clear it is very instructive on the civil case it has given to say no when he comes out you can actually sue but when you talk about when you talk about criminal proceedings it says no you cannot subject such a person to uh, criminal proceedings yes i do understand really it doesn't sound very good because i mean what happens to this person if he shoots a person and he dies you cannot arrest him unfortunately it says no you can't he is immune to criminal proceedings 
you have to go to parliament and parliament will remove the immunity you so you can't you can't a mlambo aimbe because i am talking about mlambo aimbe because he's the first one that pronounced himself on this one and i know a tabukawana is following just what the what mlambo aimbe said but my challenge is show me where you are getting that position that edgar lungu can be picked just like i can be picked in my view my submission is that he cannot be picked the way i can be picked even if he commits a crime today you cannot just pick him the way you can pick me you have to go and remove the immunity he has the immunity he's wearing it he is wearing the immunity when you become president you wear it and it doesn't come out because you have come out of a uh, state house you it remains with you that is my submission on this one Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.